no tripod, no problem. Thanks, Kevin. No problem, man. What's your Instagram? Uh, it is, I don't even know. Kevin. Oh, it's Kevin.Laberge. There you go, man. He's a lifting legend, this guy. That's it, man. Getting strong, thank you. Workout complete. I hope you're digging my long sleeve shirt, sweater vest. I'm trying to pull off uh, Carlton from Fresh Prince. You know what I'm talking about? So, one of the challenging things about being a business owner is that there's not anyone to tell you what to do, which is a good thing, right? Because you don't have anyone on your back. It's like you're responsible for you. But that's where the challenge also comes because there's no one to say like, hey, this is what we need to do to stay in business or this is what we need to do to bring you know, the business to the next level or this is what we need to do to show appreciation to your staff. It's you have to be creatively thinking uh, every day which I know may not sound like much and just, it might be easier for other people than it is for me, but uh, I have a tough time being creative sometimes. Usually I do my best to be strategic with it and I'll plan to do my creative thinking like right now, like after my workouts, because I am the most creative at this time. So heading back to the house, I'm gonna do some creative thinking for the next few months. Um, and then uh, I wanna surprise Melanie, actually. I wanna surprise her and take her out for dinner. A nice dinner. Um, that'll be fun. So, that's it. I'll check in with you guys soon. Whew. All right. Back at it. Oh man, I am so happy to be back. For those of you who who didn't know or who haven't been keeping up with all the vlogs and posts and everything like that. I just spent a week with my family on a cruise, isolated in the middle of the ocean, uh, and it was great. We used to, uh, when I was younger, I used to do the cruises a lot with my family. Uh, so it's a really cool flashback and it's really cool to be able to kind of relive those same experiences as when I was younger. It gives me perspective. Right. You know, a lot of people go on vacation to be able to get away from everything that's happening. You know, uh, to be able to get away from, you know, just have a break, which everyone deserves. So they get to have that. Where, for me, I don't really need a break from anything because this is really what I love. And I really do mean that. I love working out. I love going to five star. I love training. I love teaching and I love building. And I love trying to think about how we can impact more people. Um, I have enough free time. So to go on a vacation is kind of like uh, bittersweet for me. I am really excited to get back to it though. I am extremely excited. I know a lot of people when they go on vacation, uh, they're so excited to get away from things. But for me, I, after about three days of being cut off from the world, I just really want to get back to my world. You know, five star and, and working out and see my dog and all of these things. So I think in the future, I might try to limit my vacations to like five days or four days. The only reason I, I did the seven days was uh, my, my family specifically uh, gets their weeks off they get time off in, in a week's period. So it's hard for them to only take four days because they're missing out on the other three days they could have done. Whew. All right. So something that I saw on the cruise, which I thought was pretty inspiring, 
my family and I went to a Cirque du Soleil, Cirque du Soleil, I think that's it. Let me get out of the sun, I can't see. The Cirque du Soleil show, say that 10 times quick. And there was this guy, super muscular, super ripped, but that wasn't the impressive part. The impressive part was his balance, his body weight strength, uh, his flexibility you see he was so built but at the same time he did uh, this one act where he pretty much was doing a handstand but he was doing a handstand on these like blocks and the blocks had like a long metal rod that locked into this platform and he's doing like these handstands and stuff and I'm like wow that's pretty cool but then uh, he did something really crazy where he was on like 10 blocks and then he like pushed them midair and landed on the uh, single block with the with the uh, pole. I mean, it was insane. Anyway, the point of that is it inspired me, and it got me thinking. Wow, when's the last time I've really brought in some, some some of that style of training, right? Like gymnastics training, right? I grew up doing martial arts, kind of acrobatic type things, but I haven't really kept those in my workout routine because for so long my main goal with my focus route with my. Uh, Workout work routine has been let's uh, let's get ripped. Let's just look good. But as I'm looking at it, like I don't have the level of amount of overhead mobility that I want. I don't have the amount of uh, uh, flexibility in my lower back and things like that. So I'm feeling pretty inspired this workout. And if I choose to record anything, you might see some handstands. You might see some weird stuff that I'm not used to doing. But uh, I'm feeling inspired. So see what happens. Those are getting a tad too easy. So we're gonna do uh, some regular pistols, see how it goes. All right, so I'm gonna call it there. Left side, that feels good, right side. A little bit of discomfort in my knee, and I think I know why. I think it's because my right quad is screaming tight right now, comparatively to my left quad and hip. So I'm gonna call it there, do some accessory stuff, strengthen my hamstrings, maybe some jump rope action, and that'll be it. Update, it is 5.31. I just spent the last roughly four hours behind a computer, so I didn't film it because that is extremely boring to watch. But because I finished early, I'm heading up to the studio so I can teach a few sessions. I wasn't planning on going up today, but hope that light won't turn off. But I'm excited that I can. Uh, pretty much the last four hours consisted of ads, uh, looking at how well ads perform, and just a bunch of boring stuff that no one cares about. So, heading up to the school. Just finishing up the night at Five Star. Melly and I are walking it out. We just, uh, Abe, Heather, myself, and Melly just uh, moved some stuff around in the new space. Allstate is officially out, like I said before. So it's pretty exciting. The space is pretty big and we're assembling furniture. It's just finally happening. Uh, there was a big roadblock for a while, but it's just really exciting that now we can get everything moving again. 
going in the right direction so that we can uh, have five star 2.0.